rescued NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are about to front the world's media about how their week-long test flight turned into a nine-month space odyssey. Let's go live to US correspondent Rob Scott. Looking forward to this. So many questions, Rob. This will be the first time we've actually heard from them since that beautiful and dramatic return to Earth. Yeah, Eddie, and what a story they have to tell. This is one that has really captivated the world and given new meaning to the phrase being stuck at work. Uh, how their eight-day mission to the International Space Station ended up stretching more than 280 days after their faulty uh, Boeing Starliner uh, was deemed too dangerous to get them home. And as you said, they're due to front the cameras in the next couple of minutes, actually, where we are set to learn a lot about how they coped up there when they were told that they wouldn't be coming home when they thought they would. And what all that uncertainty did to, uncertainty did to their personal lives, because for Butch Wilmore, it meant that he missed most of his daughter's last year of high school. And we may also learn how much money they're in line for in terms of overtime payment. And that is something that the <laughs> president, Donald Trump, has offered personally to pay the bill for. Also later today, an Australian is expected to make space history. Adventurer Eric Phillips is set to become the first astronaut to launch under the Australian flag. He'll be part of a four-person SpaceX crew that will orbit over the Earth's polar regions, the first humans to ever undertake that feat. So a big news day for today, uh, space-related from the United States. Yeah, Eddie. fantastic. We actually spoke to Eric on the show last week. Fascinating. Can't wait to hear all about that. Thank you, Rob.